The Obama administration uh, says that uh, it will close Guantanamo by next January and that some detainees who are judged not to be security risks will be released in this country. Question, if you're going to try to get other countries to accept these detainees, don't we have to do our share? This is nuts. I mean, this is just crazy. These are, these are not American nationals. We have no obligation to keep them here. They ought to go home. Now, their home country is saying, I won't take my own citizen. The idea we're going to put alleged terrorists on welfare and have you pay for them and me pay for them so they get to be integrated into American society. Remember, all these people were brought in on the grounds that they were trained in terrorist camps. So we're now going to take a guy who we don't have conclusive proof and we're going to put him in American society paid by the American taxpayer because his home country won't accept him. Why is his home country not accepting him? Well, let me get, let's take one example. The Chinese Uyghurs, uh, Chinese right. Muslims, who were arrested in Afghanistan, brought to this country. The Pentagon says they're not enemy combatants. At least one federal judge has said they're not a threat. But if they go back to China, they're going to be prosecuted. Why is that our problem? I mean, why, what, if the, if the China, what, what is it, why are we protecting these guys? Why does it become an American problem? So what, send them to China? Send them to China. If, if a third country wants to receive them, send them to a third country. But, but setting this precedent that if you get picked up by Americans, I mean, the Somalian who was recently brought here who is a pirate. I mean, if you get picked up by the Americans, you show up in the United States, a lawyer files an amicus brief on your behalf for free. A year later, you get citizenship because, after all, how can we not give you citizenship since you're now here? And in between, our taxpayers pay for you? This is, I think, it verges on insanity. <laughs> well,